Hi, hello. Um, it's February 15th and I wanted to start this vlog like the very first day that I started working on this project, but then I was like, not feeling like picking up my camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, welcome. So I decided that I wanted to make a Tanjiro uh, inspired cardigan, uh, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, this guy. And I first got the idea when I was scrolling through people's knitting projects on Ravelry and I came across one that they took the pattern and then they just like added the intarsia squares and so I just couldn't get it out of my mind from there and I showed my friend it and then my friend they sent me a video about like a crochet patchwork cardigan uh, that somebody was also making a tanjiro cardigan using like crochet patchwork and I've been really wanting to try and just use up my stash this year and so I had some black this black uh, Rama fennel garn in my stash already and I actually really really love this yarn um, I get <laughs> this is so sad for somebody who knits all the time and whose favorite thing to knit is like sweaters I get really overheated really quickly and so I actually don't wear my knits that often because I just get really overheated so the cardigan's perfect and then Rama is fantastic. I knit it at a looser gauge so it has more drape and it keeps me warm when I want to be kept warm but like I could still like wear it inside during summer and not get overheated very quickly. I actually made a sweater using Rama Finnegarn and I wore it like last August. Granted I wasn't outside that much that day but I was still like when I was outside I wasn't dying. Like it lets air pass through pretty easily. So anyways, the, I decided to order um, the teal, which it's coming across really blue in the camera. I don't, I don't know how to make it so you, like this is the colors together. It's still not as dark of a green teal as what we see in the anime, but it's, it's close enough and it's looking pretty well. So anyways. I'm just going to be vlogging my progress, but since I've made a lot of progress so far, I first want to go over like how I decided to set up the cardigan. Alright, so I'm trying to film it so that you're not getting like a huge glare off of the screen. Um, but this is my like my planning notes for my cardigan. So I first was thinking about doing a 5 inch by 5 inch squares, um, but it was going to mess with mess with the symmetry of the front so what was going to happen is that both front panels would be like this so that meant that like it'd be black on the top closest to the collar and then it was going to be green on the top closest to the collar so it just wasn't going to line up correctly so then I decided just to do a four by four inch so that it would give me the about 40 inch bust circumference and so that way I could do an odd number of squares on the back, make it so that the front panels would be symmetrical to one another. The best way to go about doing this, if you want to do one of your own, is basically just figure out how many squares you want. And it's really easy to like figure out the surface area and all of that. And so then I decided from here that I wanted to knit it so I would cast on the back stitches and then knit down a couple of squares and then put those stitches on a holder, pick up the stitches at the shoulder, and knit down a couple squares on each front panel, and then join them all on the same needle to start working squares three through six as the body together. That way I didn't have to do a lot of seaming at the end of my project. All right, so what I'm doing is I have my colors lined up alternating. It looks so blue. I wish I could... The color representation is not great. This is very, like a lot more green in real life. But anyways, so here's my project. So what I'll do is I will knit with the black and then I'll bring it over and then under the green and then I'll knit with the green and I'll do that all the way around. And then I also do that when I go back on the wrong side, I will do 
over and under, over and under. And that has helped me not keep it twisted. The only, <laughs> the only struggle with that is it's not very portable. Oh, look, there's my doggo. Hi, Isma. Hi. Not a very portable project. It's a project that I'm probably just going to have to keep at home. Or like if I do bring it somewhere, know that I'm going to have to like have a whole setup. So I should only bring it to like if I'm visiting a friend's house or something and they're not going to look at me like I'm weird. Definitely not bringing it to like the doctor's office or whatever. So yeah, that's that's what's going on. That's my progress and I will check in again. All right, so this is, I cast this on, oh, I think a week ago. So this is one week in and I think I'm where I wanna do the ribbing. I was thinking about doing six squares down. That's what I originally planned. But after having it here, um, after I do like a couple inches of ribbing, I think it'll be perfect. So yeah, I'm gonna do the ribbing and I've been debating on whether or not, like all while I've been knitting the body, I've been thinking about how I wanna do the button band and how I wanna do the bottom. I was thinking potentially doing an I-cord bind off in all of the colors uh, so that the color patterning didn't stop. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do just like, solid black ribbing. Originally I was going to do two by two ribbing, but I think I'm actually going to do one by one ribbing. And so I just need it to be divisible by two instead of divisible by four. So I can actually decrease a stitch instead of increasing a stitch, which I think is probably what I'd prefer to do for ribbing. I'm really excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit. I'm going to switch down to a needle size. I'm going to knit uh, one row black all the way across so that when I do my pearls it's not going to like pearl the teal into the black it so it'll be a cleaner color change when I do that I am just I'm really excited about it I think it's gonna be awesome so yeah so my original plan was to just knit it straight down and then decrease a lot before the ribbing so that it's like a poofy like bellish sleeve um but I also really like the idea of just having like a normal decreased sleeve I don't know I'm really happy with how I was able to pick up stitches so that it's not like offset at all my goal is to get this done in nine days from now so I think I could do it I don't know What's going to slow me down, what I'm not really accounting for, is this button band and how long that might take me. Alright, hello! Um, I just wanted to give an update on my Tanjiro cardigan. I finished the body almost. I still left it where... So I got it down and then I just left it on some... <laughs> it's really hard to... Move this around. I left it on some needles before I did the ribbing because I wanted to do the sleeves and then kind of figure out if it was actually the length I wanted it to be. So, um, yeah, I have one sleeve almost completely done. So I was thinking about when I was doing the sleeves, I had to knit them flat and then I just joined it to work in the round once I got to the ribbing. I was debating on like what sleeve shape I wanted but then as I thought about it I realized that something that I really like about the art style from Demon Slayer is just the roundness of anything there's like a lot of round shapes so I decided I wanted to do a bell sleeve or a balloon sleeve I guess not a bell sleeve a balloon sleeve so basically I just knit straight down and then I just knit two together all the way around and then started the ribbing. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera back, but. And then I did a nice, it's kind of hard to see because it's black yarn, but I did a tubular bind off, just one by one ribbing for the cuff. And I really it's not at a point where I can really try it on and show you, but I just wanted to check in with a little progress report, kind of talk about my thought process through the whole thing. But I I love it, and I think I'm gonna really like having like the balloon sleeve shape. 
I think it's gonna look really good. So I still just need to, I need to seam this together. Um, I added an extra, two extra stitches, one on either end, so that when I seam it together, the squares will still be the right amount of stitches. So I just need to seam that together, which will help it because it's like rolling in on itself. So the sleeve is actually bigger than what it looks like right now. It's going to be bigger. It's just, it just keeps rolling in because it's stuck in it. And I picked up the stitches for the second sleeve last night after I finished the first sleeve. So picked up the stitches. It's looking really good. The seams are pretty invisible. Really excited about it. So once the sleeves are done and seamed up, then I'm going to do the ribbing along the bottom. And then from there, I'm going to start the button band, which I think the button band might end up being solid black. I for sure will have enough yarn, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll alternate it, but I'm I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited. And um, yeah, so anyways, that's all. Just wanted to check in for a progress report. Ah, it is done. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, here we go. My tension wasn't perfect on the edges where I was doing the intarsia stuff, but it looks great. But it's done. My Tanjiro cardigan is done. Um, sorry I didn't do like a lot of process video or like update shots in between <laughs> working on my first sleeve and now, but I just got so excited um, for the button band I ended up not doing a button band because the way that I laid the stitches out it wasn't going to um, work out unless I made the button bands very thick it wasn't going to overlap so I decided not to put any buttonholes or buttons on it what I did instead is I just did a nice like double edging so it's really really pretty and I just, how I did this is I picked up stitches around and then I knit the neckband at the same time I was attaching it to the body. So what I would do is I'd knit across the neckband, knit the last stitch and the next pickup stitch together and then go the opposite way back and forth. Um, I can link to a video that I kind of used to get the idea. I'm so happy with this I love it so much got my got my earrings to match um so yes let's talk about how much I ended up using so my bust measurement I'm a 36 inch bust measurement um I'm five foot four so I have to look at my notes I ended up using a little over two balls of the teal and this is Rama Fennel Garn it comes in 50 gram balls and then I ended up using a little over three balls of the black. So it was about, after I weighed everything and all of that, I used about 1,088 yards for this whole cardigan. So Rama, it went a pretty long way. I think it's like $10 a ball here in the US from like, I think it was, who did I get this from? The Woolly Thistle, I think is where I bought some of the yarn from. Wooling Company might have been another one. 10 bucks a ball, so it's a cardigan for only like 70 bucks because you're gonna need four balls of the black and three balls of the teal. But that's if you're making the size that I made. The teal, I believe, is 4887, and then the black is 0436, I think. But, I mean, you can find the black. The teal is the one that, um, if you're wanting to get the same one I did, it was 4887 is the color. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, I really liked it. I mattress stitched the sleeves together under the arm. So that's what this kind of bulge is right here was from where I mattress stitched it from the underarm all the way to the cuff. Um, something I did that kind of helped me um, partway through as I started weaving in my ends as I went. So 
as I was knitting, I would knit under and over the end from the cut off strand of yarn. And that kind of weaved in my ends as I went. So I didn't have to do as much of the weaving in of the ends. For the finishing work, here's the, here it is inside out. You can kind of see how the intarsia interlocked and stuff. You can see kind of where I picked up stitches for the neckband. I ended up doing a three needle bind off for the neckband because what I did is I did bottom up on both sides and just met in the center of the back and combined it. I didn't use my blocking wires because I couldn't find my uh, blocking pins. So I did not actually aggressively block this. I ended up just getting it wet and laying it out, making sure that the front met in the middle when I was blocking because before blocking, this was pulling the ribbing, the bottom ribbing was like pulling everything to the back. So the shape was just off. So blocking is definitely helpful. If you aren't familiar with blocking, it's basically just soaking your work and then laying it out to dry. I did a tubular cast on for the neckband when I joined it all together. I am in love with the finished object. I love this yarn. So I knit this on US size sevens and then the ribbing was done in US sixes as well as the neckband. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love it so much. I'm really happy I decided to go with the balloon sleeve instead of just doing a normal sleeve like I was considering. That was one of the things I was considering. But I think the balloon sleeve works really well just because of the animation style. It kind of goes along with that. I really want to make a Zenitsu one now. This yarn. I can't say enough good things about this yarn. I love this yarn. Um, if you're sensitive to like itchiness of wool, like might not be for you. It's not like super itchy, but you can feel a little bit. It's not a very like soft fiber, like a soft wool like merino, but it's not super rough. I have a sweater that I wear next to my skin. This is touching most of my skin because I'm in a short sleeve shirt. I really like it. I don't know what else to say other than I'm so excited about it. Um, and thank you for coming along on this journey with me. If you want to make one of your own, please do. Please take like what you've gotten out of this video and apply it to making one of your own. Um, if you're wanting like exact numbers, I did five squares across the back. These are all four inch squares. And then I did two on the sides. And then I did four around for the sleeve and then seamed it. And then I did a 16, this is 16 stitches, and then I did a knit, knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. Um, that's how it kind of makes the double knit fabric. What I would recommend um, for anybody who's making a size larger than the size I made is I would recommend making the squares larger rather than doing more squares. So this is like a 40 inch, uh, bust circumference, I would suggest doing, like if you were say going to do a 50 inch bust circumference, I would just add an inch onto every square and then in the front just make the neckband thicker or do like half a square on either side before you do the neckband. I think that would be great. Uh, so yeah, just making the squares bigger because if you look at like Tanjiro's thing and if you want it to look like that, you don't want it to be like overly checkered. So to get kind of the similar look, I would just change the sizes of the squares. But like at a certain point, changing the size of the squares won't work because it'll increase the length too much. So also keep that in mind as you're like moving things around. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Also, you can message me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is at Ariely Knits. And yeah, thank you for watching and have fun. Make all the nerdy things. You're fantastic.